I'm going to tell you something today. It's a little secret I have that I use, and I'm going to share it with you guys because you're all my friends. I'm going to show you by the end of this speech that a way of filing or storing anything that makes it quick and easy to find it later. I'm going to, by the end of the speech, you'll also know that you don't need a filing system, you need a retrieval system. You'll know one simple question to ask yourself when you're getting ready to store something. And you'll also see how you can apply this not just to paper files, but to anything. There is a multi-million dollar industry out there on how to store things. There are whole stores that do nothing but tell you how to store things. There are filing systems of all shapes and sizes that have a hundred million rules and put everything in its place and give you special folders and everything. All of that is really well and good if that's the thing you're into, like setting file systems. That's not me. Because the truth is, in general, what you need is a retrieval system and not a file system. You don't care where you put it, you care where it is when you need to go get it. And no matter how cool your system is for filing something, if you can't find it when you need it, then it fails. Now, in truth, there needs to be a balance in all things. And in this balance is your filing system and your retrieval system only need to be as good as you're going to use them. For instance, I have a great filing system and a horrible retrieval system for all my old bills at the house. Mm. I have a box underneath my desk, and every time I pay a bill, I just throw it in the box. At the end of the year, I take that box, I put a lid on it, and I pull a new one out and write a new year on it. That's my whole system. But the deal is, I never look at old bills. I would get rid of them, except I can't. I just can't make myself get rid of anything old. So I just throw them in this box so that I don't have to worry about them anymore. But you know what? It still works. Because if I need an old bill, I know exactly where to go look in that box. Now, it may take me 30 minutes to go through all of that, but I know exactly where it is, which brings me to the secret. The secret is a simple question you ask yourself whenever you need to file or store something. And that question is, where would I look for this thing right now if I were looking for it? So, you have a conversation with yourself kind of like this. For instance, imagine that I have my passport in my hand, and I say to myself, Ron, where's your passport? And myself says, it's in your hand, dummy. <laughs> no, you're imagining things. Where, wh where should I look for my passport? And I say to myself, oh, well, if you were looking for your passport, you should go look in your important papers file in your file cabinet. And you take your passport and you go put it in your important papers in your file cabinet. Now, there's two ways this can fail. One is you can just not do it. You can say, where's my passport? and just leave it sitting on your desk and wander off and forget, then guess what? It's going to get lost, just like everything else. The other way is you can overthink this. So you, you may say to yourself, oh, you should put it in your important papers file, and then think to yourself, but I use it for business. Maybe I should put it in my business papers file. Or maybe I should put it in a blue folder because passports are blue. <laughs> and then you go put it in the blue folder. And then in May, when Savannah and I are getting ready to go to England, Savannah says, Ron, where's our passports? And I say to myself, oh, it immediately comes to mind. What? Because that's what you use to find it. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, it's in my important papers file. I go to my important papers file and open it up, and it's not there. And then you literally have to ask yourself, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> to get back to where you put it. You have to go through that whole process again. So go with your first instinct, because that's the thing that's going to come back to you when you need to go find the thing later. Lastly, this applies to everything. It amazes me how often I find a new application for this. But let's take a simple one. Say you just did a home improvement project, and what's in your hand is your hammer. Okay, you're in the house, you got your hand, your hammer here. Now, there's a couple of ways to handle your tools in this case. One would be to like to go to Home Depot and buy a thirty-six thousand dollar tool chest filing system that has like little places for every particular tool, and and it has a system of organizing them all by the metals they're made out of. The problem with that is if you go do that, first you have to get the manual out and figure out where it goes, and then when you need to go get it later, you have to get your manual out again to go find it. But if instead you say, where would I be looking for my hammer if I need my hammer right now? And you say, oh, well, it would probably be in that toolbox with all the other woodworking tools. Toolbox, woodworking tools, boom. Next time you need your hammer, where is it? Oh, toolbox, woodworking tools, bam, you go find it. 
So you can apply this to all kinds of things. I don't know if you can apply it to your children, but <laughs> that's an idea. I also have found that sometimes you can get confused. You can, uh, you, you may have, well, sorry, let me step back on that. I have found that other reasons this may not work, and this seems to happen in our house, is if you have a gremlin that goes and hides things, I'm pretty sure our house has one of those, because like today, I searched for like 30 minutes to find the SD cards that go in that thing. And in reality, they were where they should be in my camera bag, but just in a different pocket. <laughs> so it doesn't always work, but I guarantee you, if you focus on your retrieval system, and if you ask yourself the simple question, where would I look for this if I was looking for it right now, and then you go and actually implement that process and put it where you think, I guarantee you, you will find things easier and there'll be a lot less frustration in your life.